Google Classroom users. It's the end of the school year. So what do you do with these classes from last year? So I'm going to go to classroom.google.com and I'm going to have all of my classes here obviously with the class tiles and then what I can do is I'm going to find the tile and you're going to hover over the three dots and you can choose archive. You don't need to delete your classes. In fact, don't delete your classes because you can reuse the assignments from last year. You don't want to start over from scratch. So you just want to archive them and kind of hide them in the background. So notice I've got this class. I'm going to three dots. I'm going to choose archive. Go ahead and archive. Now what happens to those? If you want to, you can remove all the students first and then that would restrict it so they have no access to the content at all. When you archive, they can view the assignments, but they can't interact with the assignments. So if you want to prevent that, you can just remove the students from the class and then archive them. But where do you find this archive? So you go to the three lines up in the upper left, and you come down and you see that it says archived classes. And that's where you can find the classes that you have archived. So here's that one that I did right here. Once you archive it, three dots, you can delete it, but you don't need to do that. Now, an exception might be is if you teach six periods of Algebra 1, so you have six classes that are basically all the same. You put the same content a bunch of times. If you wanted to, at least save one. So archive all six. If you want to go in and delete the five, that's fine. But before you do that, you want to make sure that you get all of the files out of that class. So notice here, So if you want to delete it, you can three dots delete, but otherwise there's really no need to just leave it archived. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to classes and I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to create a class and I'm going to call it um, Awesome Assignments Repository and I'm going to create. And what this is going to allow me to do is I'm going to bring in my favorite assignments from last year just to kind of help prep me up to be ready for next school year. So what I'm going to do is when I'm in here, I'm going to leave it with no students. I don't need any students. And I'm going to create and reuse post. Now when I reuse the post, it lets me select a class. Now remember, oops, that's not the archived one. You see it says archived. So it's still there. Even though I archived it, I still have access to it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the archived and it's going to show me all my assignments that I have in there and I'm going to choose the assignment that I want to reuse. Now down here where it says create copies, do not do that. Do not make copies. You do not need to make copies because they're not attached. I know it says attachments, but they're not really attached. The deal is with documents in Google Classroom is they're actually all in Google Drive. So when you reuse an assignment, the attachments are actually linked in Google Drive. So what you're able to do then is go to the assignment, click on it, do not create copies and reuse. Now if there's any attachments, they're really links, you can just go ahead and edit them from Google Drive. That's how you can update it. So you see here I have this template. It's probably good to go that I don't need to do anything. But what I'm able to do is just click on that title just to double check. So before I reassign, before I put it in my awesome assignments to save it, you notice that the title is hyperlinked. So when I click on that, it opens the Google Doc. And so this is not a very good template. Probably needs some other things in it. Can't even get my Bitmoji right now. But whatever, I can make my updates on there and then of course it's Google so I don't need to do anything I don't have to save it I'm just gonna close that tab and those updates are gonna be reflected in the new assignment I don't need to make copies in fact one of the things that I like to do is I like to use the file menu and go to version history and I name the current version template that way I am able to find if there were any edits, if I made any changes, I know where those are based on because I name them. So really take advantage of the version history and naming them so that when you go to reuse a post, 
you're able to rewind it back to the way that it looked before. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and just save this to my awesome assignments repository. And I'm gonna create, I'm gonna reuse a post. I'm gonna go get it from a different class. And I'm gonna try this one. Select the assignment, do not make copies, do not make copies, reuse. And then notice again that the title is hyperlinked. It's gonna open that up from Google Drive. And so I can see that I had done something collaborative with the students from last year. So rather than have to make a copy and start over, I'm actually just gonna go file version history and I'm gonna see the version history and I'm able to go down to the way it looked before all these people worked on it and I'm gonna restore the version and now it's back to the way that it was before they did so it's good to go for next year. I'm all set assigned and I'm putting that into my awesome assignments repository. Although you don't have to save it all to an awesome assignments repository, I'm just getting ready for next year. So I'm going and reusing the posts that I really liked from last year's class saving them into, making a copy of them into the awesome assignments repository where I'm going into the version history of my documents and I'm fixing them up. I'm going back to where it was before we edited them if I need to or just making updates to the documents and getting myself ready for the new school year. Now if you have a Google form, So I'm going to create reuse post and I'm going to find an assignment that has a Google form in it. So we're going to fill out this form. So here's the deal with Google Forms. You don't need to make copies of Google Forms either. You can reuse the same Google Forms year after year. So the trick is to go to the Google Forms. So you see it's hyperlinked. It's going to open it up. I'm going to click on the pencil so I can edit the form and I have some responses. Now if you want, you can click this spreadsheet icon and the reason that you would want to do the spreadsheet is because it takes last year's responses and saves them into the spreadsheet. So if you're concerned about losing the data, you won't lose the data. You can basically back it up to a spreadsheet because then what you're going to want to do is do the three dots. Go ahead and unlink form. What does that mean? It is unlinking the spreadsheet. So the data from the spreadsheet or from the Google form was copied into the spreadsheet and now that you unlink it, you have last year's information from the Google form in a spreadsheet if you want it. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete the responses from this year's form. So I'm gonna do the three dots. I'm gonna delete all responses, okay? And now it is ready to reuse for the next year. So you don't have to do your Google form, a copy, and then just have a mess in your Google Drive, a bunch of Google forms with the same name, and then you go to find it and you don't know which one it is because they're all named the same. No, 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 I want just one document with the same title so I don't make copies. No, I'm gonna reuse them. So that's how I do the form. I'm gonna close it, it's all ready. Go ahead and assign. Now I'm doing this again to my awesome assignments repository, but you don't have to put it there. You can just reuse them next year and for this reason i like to make a new class every six weeks or every unit grading period because when you go to reuse posts you've got to scroll through all of the assignments from last year which isn't really that fun and so if i do it in smaller chunks it's a lot easier to reuse so that's just a tip i like to create a new class every unit and then it's a lot easier to reuse posts and again i don't copy attachments, I update the attachments that I have.